You know, there's nothing quite like starting with a simple little tile like this and then using it to build a world however you want by placing a house with a field over here and maybe a rock over here and some water down here. Just so we can spread everything out nice and even and we can get some trees going next to these rocks here. I think that'll be a good start. And we can use these tiles to get a boost from all these neighboring ones. Ooh, and that builds it up very nicely. Look, we have a crow and he gives a bonus point. That's amazing. So let's just keep building out the world the way we do. And we would just need one more water tile if we place it like this. I think I can get away with that. Forming a nice little lake around here. I like it. And then this will work here very good. And you can work here very good. I would like one water tile in the future at some point. But for right now, I'll take the six points by placing this over here. And then snuggle in the rocks right there. Oh, they're getting bigger. I like it. And we can get a nice bonus by just placing a flower tile right here to finish out the water. Very good. And look, we get a booster pack. Ooh, but we have an objective too. If we place you here, we can reduce that to plus two, which I think is the best that we can get from that. That's okay because there's a house out that way that we can build towards. And now let's look at the booster pack so we can start to build some structures. So we can get some instant upgrades or we get some double points from all the future trees. We're early enough. I think this is worth doing. So we just need to place a small orchard somewhere. And if we can use existing tiles, that would be ideal. Oh, we can almost get away with that one. Oh, but we can get away with this one. I think this is going to be the best for what we're looking for. I'll place this down here, and then we need to fill that in at some point. Ooh, luckily, that's the next two tiles. So you can go connect between these two, I guess. And then the house will go right here, which completes this objective. So we get a good bonus from that. And the tree will go in right here. And we have the bonus. So all the future tree tiles are going to be doubled in value. Perfect. And this is quite a mix of everything. I don't really know what to do with this. There's not really anywhere it couldn't go. And I guess the most value from here, but I do want to save this area as well for the tree tiles. So I'll get this guy going down here with a good little plus three like that. And then over here, and we get some more water to build with. Very good. Now, there's not too much that we can get down here. Ooh, but this will be a good tile for down here. I just wish this wheat field was more connected, but this will be good for the two trees in the double area. So we can go ahead and do that. Get a bonus from the wheat field down here. And some of these triple tiles, I really don't know what to do with the most effectively, but this one has a little bit of everything. I think this could work. Ooh, but that works even better. Yeah. And then we get some rocks over here. And we'll just get a plus seven right here to fill in that gap. And now we have some more houses. Hmm. This is a good spot right here for them. Or can we flip this around, maybe? If we do that, we only need a plus one. And we have one right here. Perfect. Right like that. And we get another structure thing. And I do have a good wheat field going. I could probably get this one and instantly upgrade some of that. That would be a good idea right over here. I can live with that. Or maybe I put it up here. Hmm. Ah, uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna go down here. Or can I... Oh! <laughs> I could just immediately kick it off by getting all of them. I don't need to build anything extra. That's instant gratification right there. And this still has a small area that I can upgrade some wheat. Now let's just get some more bonuses going on around here. I do see a wheat field plus a house down the list. So that'll be good for this spot right here. I'll leave this empty and then just decorate a house right there. And then we will build some more water. We're just gonna have a little island house right here. I think that'd be kind of cute. And here's that tile with both of those. So we get a plus five right here. There we go. Ooh, this is another objective with two trees. But but one of them will complete the other. Uh, oh, 30 bonus. Okay, so 30 is the bonus that we get regardless. I mean, might as well. Plus it's in the area that should be getting doubled. Unless that is a double. It could be. And I would like to see trees plus rock right here. So I'll leave that blank. We'll build some more wheat fields. Oh, that's a plus four. I like that. And now plus three branching out this way. And the water can branch out this way as well. And then we finish the little island and the little house is on there. I really like that. Some more wheat field bonuses going on. And I can get a plus seven from a few spaces. I really like finishing out this one over here. I'll do that. And now this one has tree, wheat, and house. Ooh, plus eight. Does that connect? It's really the best spot for it. So yes. And here's another objective. Can we finish this out right over here? Oh, we get pretty close. The less I have to place down to complete the objective, the better I'm going to feel about it. I just wish I could flip this around. This spot seems to work pretty good. And now we have another blueprint we can do. Ooh, a geyser. And that instantly places some water tiles. Or this instantly places 10 of those. Hmm. I think there's enough in place for us to get the geyser because it probably just needs water and rock. Two water a rock and a flower. I think we can get kind of close. Kind of close. Ideally, I can get away with placing this down, so I only need one flower tile, which is coming up pretty soon. Or, you know, alternatively, I only need one water tile. Would that interfere with the barn? 
Hmm, it might. Or you know what? A geyser right next to a barn could be pretty cool. This is a large area, so there's definitely room to place those 10 water tiles. Yeah, it can go right over here. And then just one water tile with a house, with a house in it. Uh, that might be a waste. I see a water tile coming up down the list. I do need to finish out the objective over here. So we'll get one of those right there. And another tree and flower thingy over here. And then build out more of the field down here. I really want this field to be huge. But for right now, we'll finish out the house objective. Get another tree to finish that objective. And this seems like a good spot for a flower tile. And here's the water one I was looking at. Aha! Look at that geyser right next to the barn. That's a weird setup, but it's kind of it's kind of nifty. In any case, time for more houses. Another objective. Some rocks. Well, that's pretty easy to do. That can just go right here. And I don't want this water to go any more this way, so I'll close that off with the wheat field. And we'll just use a flower tile to finish out the rocks over here. Get some more tree bonuses happening over this way. Now, let's see. House, rock, water sort of we could we could start to build another house this way but i like the way we're sectioning things off here uh i guess you can go here i want this to be a housing area and then some more fields over here oh look it's got a scarecrow and the barn has a cat i never noticed this you give a point as well. Does the geyser have anything? Yes, it does. It's a little frog. Look at you. Uh, how about the forest or the, um, orchard? Any creatures in the orchard? A cat. And then in the forest? There might not be one in the forest. At least I haven't noticed any. But I am okay with placing more water down this way. Whoa, a big old boat just appeared. We have a proper ocean or something. And there's a cat piloting the boat as well. Oh, that's adorable. We'll just create another rock quarry over here. Ooh, some more trees. Okay, uh, what can we do? With this it has some houses attached to it we could go this way there is a house it's connected to so that would be really good i think yes and then after we get rid of the rock over here we can just place a tree right over here easy win and now we can choose another thing a small forester's lodge or the hillside quarry i feel like we have everything for that sure what do you need okay rocks flower and a house gonna need a house over here but can i get everything else figured out. Not cleanly. We do have enough things coming up that I can just cover this easily, so I'll try to keep the quarry to its own little area. And then... Hmm. We'll need to shift some things around. That can go here. Flower go there. House go here. Another objective. That's pretty easy to handle, because it's already done. And that's a three piece thing. Do I want to waste that here? None of them really go together the way I'm setting this up, so I think yes. And now we have the quarry complete. Is there an animal in the quarry? Another kitty cat. Look at you. So many cats around. I love it. Ooh, plus five right there. That's pretty good, actually. And now we get another structure. A hillside mine or an improved barn. Huh. Let's see. Forester's Lodge would probably need houses, trees, and a flower. So I think we have enough for this. Okay, just us trees and a flower. So if only there was a little... Oh, oh there is. Can we position this better? to get more area out of it. It seems like not, but this is pretty good development right here because there isn't really flower designations anywhere else. Unless we get around like this. That's pretty good, actually. And the flower's the next tile. So that works out pretty good. And that is only five of the 52 structures. I don't know how many we're gonna get in this video, but we'll do what we can, especially since, oh, if only these weird little shapes weren't here. Okay, well, I can still fill this out. Complete that right away. Where's the kitty over here? There he is. There's simple pleasures in this game. Building a really satisfying landscape and finding the kitty cats. Now let's see what else we can place down. A hillside airship. Ooh. Expands the tile placement space by one. So what would this need? Probably rocks in a house? Maybe some trees or some flowers? One of the two. Okay, rocks, trees, and flowers. Do I have anything close to that? I kind of do. I almost do. Wasn't there another flower field somewhere up in here besides the cabin? I guess not. Eh, you know what? This area kind of does make sense for a hillside airship. So I'll place that down there. Now we place it on the tree and voila, we have an airship. Oh, look at that. It looks so adorable. Where's the kitty cat? I see you. And now it's just sailing around the whole place. Oh, that's amazing. And now we can start to connect the houses together with this if we wanted. But I want to expand the wheat field some more over this way. Uh, maybe with some bigger wheat field pieces. Oh, but that is a plus four. I'll put it here. More houses. There we go. This is what I'm looking for. An objective with more rocks. Where am I ever going to find some rocks? Ooh, this actually works right here so I can connect it to the forest. Perfect. And then that right there. And then some lake expansion out this way. Now we can expand the weed field proper. And then another rock right in here. Perfect. We're getting over a thousand score. This is amazing. And... This seems like a pretty good limit to the edge of the forest. We'll expand the rocks out this way from here on out. Oh, I really spoke too soon. 
This is a whole lot of trees. Thankfully, though, I can place this pretty much wherever, and I'm one thing away from completing it. So the question is, do I want the forest to expand out here as well? Well, it's as good a place as any. And then we keep that going. Place the rock right there just to finish that out. There we go. And then a house right there. Rocks and some flowers. That seems pretty good right here. Another objective. Ooh, with more houses. This is my lucky day. Another structure. Ooh, a silo. And we are starting to get some more level two buildings, which I'm guessing are a bit more challenging, but this instantly places 20 trees. I like that idea. Can I place it on top of an existing structure? It looks like I could. If I can get this in the edge of the trees so that the houses are the only things sticking out, that would be ideal. Or, you know, I just am stuck doing this. Or could I do this so that the houses are in and the flowers are the only thing sticking out? Doesn't look like it. Well, you know, that wouldn't be too bad either. I'm sure there's enough upcoming tiles that I can cover this. Now I just gotta worry about everything else. And then the other tree goes right there. A wheat field to continue on down this way and another tree tile right here and it looks like we can finish this objective right here and another objective this time it has houses in it and that's a pretty good orientation to do that and there are bare houses to put next to this so i won't worry about this just yet instead i'll use these two to complete this place so we can get a lot more trees going out this way i love it and i love seeing these objectives just complete themselves because of everything else i've put down a flower field right here that could be pretty good sure oh look at this we expanded the lake enough that there's two boats oh it's amazing and they each have their own little kitty cat i love it and we have some little cabins in the woods very good and it's time for a new structure. Oh, a mountainside airship. Oh, that airship looks so cool. I want it. So what do I need for it? Okay, trees, rocks, and flower. Well, there's plenty of trees here. So I could probably just get away with that like this. Or would I like it more over here? I think having two airships flying around with some distance from each other is a good idea. So I'll put this in right here, which a flower will go in right there. A bit more lakes for the kitty cats. Oh, look, a seagull. You better not give the cats any trouble. And there's a little froggy. Hello. Oh, there's a lot of froggies, actually. How did I not notice these? Ooh, a new objective. Oh, there's two of them now. Well, this is a challenge. I can finish the wheat field here. Having the wheat field finish seems like it would make more sense. And so I can plug that in right there. That'll fit. And this is the last rock we need over here. And there we have an airship. Oh, that looks so good. I love it. And now we have two airships flying around. Also, look at the size of this place. This is very picturesque. Oh, look, three boats now. Oh, and look at that. We got a tractor. There's a little kitty in the tractor too. Oh, <laughs> why are there kitty cats everywhere? I don't know, but I love it. So that can go right there. And then we get the wheat fields going right here perfectly so we can get another structure i should have enough things for that or we upgrade things with the local cafe i think a local hall would look pretty nice we just need two houses and some flowers we'll cover that soon enough one more water over here to finish that get another house in right here and the other house in over here even though there's a tree attached to it and now we have the last flower we need for the town hall oh and it's facing the wrong way oh man that's okay no one wants to look at this thing anyway there's a little chicken statue a little kitty on the bench. Very good. And this boat is looking very lost. Oh, look at that. We did get four boats. Amazing. Oh, man, there's more objectives showing up. All right, let's place down a structure. Ooh, a river geyser. Hmm. Or a fountain to upgrade 10 of the water. What do we need for that? House, flowers, and rocks. Okay. All right, at the very least, I can place this here. And then there's a flower to go here already. A rock for here, and another flower for here. Perfect. Oh, you're facing backwards again? Come on. At least the kitty's in the bell tower. That's adorable. I guess this is just a backwards town. And there's two house objectives here. Oh, dear. Well, at least we can do that, and that one's already done. And we can get another structure already? A river geyser sounds kind of fun, and that's two stars. Oh, boy, it takes a lot, though. But if we just had a flower, it could go right here. Sure. And we just need to get those flowers. Ugh. Speaking of, can these feed into each other? Ooh, they can. And the wheat field's facing the same way. Oh, no. I messed up the house. I can only put one spacer. That's not going to be enough. Oh, uh, shoot. Well, it was good while it lasted. At least I can finish up this river geyser. Oh, that looks really good. I tell you what, I could keep going at this for a while, but I think we have a pretty good world as is. We have a huge rock area, big old forest, a wheat field with a kitty and a tractor, and some really good looking air blooms flying around. So I'd say we have a pretty good world right here. So that'll do it for Panorama today. Thank you very much for watching and sub to intern. And I'd like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splattersax, The Real Nickname, Edward, and Hateful Harold.